the sound is iconic. The shape? Perhaps the most familiar helicopter in the world. It could be one of the more than 10,000 Hueys built. But it isn't. It's new as tomorrow. It is the Huey 2 of the Lebanese Air Force. Dear viewers, welcome back. Before we begin, I would like to explain to you the difference between the UH-1H and the Huey-2. At first glance, you might say, well, they look the same, but they don't. The fastest way to spot a Huey-2 is to look at the tail. On the Huey 2, the tail rotor is on the right side. The Lebanese Air Force UH-1H has an olive drab camouflage, while the Huey 2 has a pattern of light grey and dark green. The Huey 2 is the upgrade of the UH-1H, like the following. The Huey 2 upgrade combined the basic airframe with a variety of off-the-shelf Bell 212 components. While on the kit I'm working on, in this case, Kitty Hawk, the basic upgrades you will be seeing are the following. The tail rotor of the Huey 2 is longer and wider than the one found in the kit. In this case, I replaced it with a 212 tail rotor from another kit. And the same thing applied for the main rotor. Now let's get back to where we left off. First aid kits are now ready to be installed. I sprayed a base layer of flat black. To make it easier to paint the fluorescent red, I painted the ALT with a base coat of flat white. And the result is pretty bright. Now, let's make those first eight bags look more realistic. I designed some water slide decals and with the help of the guys from the decal shop I obtained an excellent product. On 
on the Huey 2, I used the Edward interior upgrades. This was my first time I used the Molotov chrome marker. And I'm pretty happy with the result. I thought the cargo hook section was a bit too simple. So I decided to make it more exciting. I used soldering wires to make the electric cables of the system. And here it is. The heart of the Huey, it's the engine. Before we move to how I build it, let me share with you some good stories. The Huey's engine is called T53L13, while the Huey 2 is the 703. T stands for turbine, 53 is the military number designation, L stands for Lycoming, the manufacturer, 13 or 703 in the case of the Huey 2 is the modification number since the first build. While the Huey has 1400 shaft horsepower on its back, the Huey 2 with the engine upgrade has mm, something to spare. The upgrade of the Huey increased its lift capability from 9500 pounds to 10500 pounds. Not solely due to the engine upgrade, the Huey 2 stepped from 12,000 feet of max operational altitude to 16,000 feet. And speaking of max operating altitude, in 1973, the Italian army obtained the max altitude world record of the Huey, landing at 6,500 meters well beyond the Huey's design limitation. Well, enough history, let's go back to our engine. Here, I'm working my way layer by layer to obtain a used exhaust pipe. turbine that comes from the kit has good details, but that's not enough for me. And I added just a few wires more. It's time to give some touch up to give this turbine a bit of life. observing some pictures of the engine bay, I thought it would be more interesting to add some more details. So why not the fire loop pipes?
And there it is. Hmm, still looks too shiny. tape has left some residue, but I have a solution for that. take a precaution when building my models and I put some lead weights in the nose area so the tail doesn't tilt back. Another small feature missing was the IR missile sensor host points that I made using plastic rods. The overhead panels found in the kit did not have any details. So for the Huey 2 I used Edward upgrade parts and for the Huey I enjoyed building my own. comes with the standard UH-1D air intake filters. In order to be more accurate, I chose to build the LAF UH-1H and Huey-2 air intake filters. Here's the filter of the UH-1H. For the Huey 2, I used a 3D drawing of the actual filters to start with. And there you go, the final product. Huey is not a Huey without the green eyebrows. Now here's another thing. The Kitty Hawk engine bay doors can be chosen to stay or permanently open or closed. I came with a design to make it possible to slide them open or close them whenever I choose to. Another upgrade I did to my helicopters was the aerodynamics trach that was not present in the kit. And here is the cabin completed. I know you have questions to ask me, and I am here for you. Type a comment below, like my video, 
and please subscribe to my channel. If you're looking for dedicated help or professional advices, please become my Patreon. Link in the description below.